In this video, I'll be showing you how you can make a high quality matchmaking photo in UEFL. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing you obviously need is a matchmaking portal. Okay, I'm just going to drag that in real quick. Um, this is what it looks like. And then you're going to need your thumbnail. Uh, drag it in. I've made a new folder called uh, Imports. So you can just put your thumbnail in here. And uh, what you want to do is, because there's no, I guess um, you could you could do it this way, right? So you put in the code here, whatever, right? But it's still going to look bad. So what you want to do, I'm going to just turn these off real quick to make it look a little bit better. Um, no, obviously, obviously you want to just have these settings um, however you want to have them. This is not important. What is important is going up here, clicking this icon, then going to shapes. Oh, no, no, sorry. Uh, where is it? Shapes and then plane. You want to get a plane uh, in your scene, and then you just want to flip it around like this. Now, you want to just drag this in, and then you can see your thumbnail is now visible. So you literally, what you wanted to do is go in here, or go, go above the matchmaking portal, and just make it the same size, okay? So we gotta do it a little bit wider. You could go a little bit over, uh, oh, like a little bit over the matchmaking portal. That's no issue. Just make sure you're not, you know, just not doing it smaller than it is. So just like that. And then we we'll could drag it down a little bit. I can see it poking out. So yeah, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit bigger. Um, that's okay. Just make sure it's not smaller. So then you're going to drag it in front like that. And then this is it, right? So this is going to be the high quality one. Now to make this, uh, you know, look good from like, I guess, even like from over there, right? Because uh, obviously if you have streaming enabled, it's going to look pretty bad from far away. So what you want to do is we just want to make sure that this is always loaded. So what you want to do is you want to go into the settings of this and then um, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove the shadows and all that. I don't think I need that. Uh, let's see where it is. There we go. This HLO. You wanna remove these two, and then also this one. You wanna check never distance go, and then you wanna check off this one. And then I think this is the same. Yep. So I think we should be done with this. We are. And uh, yeah, this way this is going to look good. Um, even you know. Um, like even if uh, the matchmaking portal looks bad, because obviously it's behind the still, you can access the matchmaking portal. It's just as an image over it, right? Now, obviously, if you put this in the middle of your map, you want to put, maybe you want to duplicate this one and put it at the back as well. Uh, but most people just do it at, uh, at a wall. So, you know, that shouldn't be an issue. But what you could also do to make it look a little bit better is what I usually do as well. You can go into shapes again and you can drag in a cube. Uh, I'll show you what I uh, what was what's this what this is for in a second. But we want to make it ten, so maybe a little bit, yeah, just like that. Then you want to drag it over uh, the the matchmaking portal, and then you want to make sure you can see from the bottom there. There we go. I think this should be enough. It's a little bit too much. I want it poking out a little bit, right? I don't want it poking out too much. So, a little bit too much than I wanted. See that? Okay, so I just have to fix the sides now to make it look. I think that is good. Yeah, I think this is good. As you can see, it looks pretty decent, right? Um, it's not it's probably not perfect, but you know, you could you could uh, make it perfect for your map. But what I usually do is I do the iron material. So you can go into the material and just choose this one. Or if you want to have it as like a glow, I guess you could also choose something like um, like white, right? You could do you could do this, or I guess emissive is better. Um, just like do emissive, and then you see it's like glowing a little bit. So yeah, this looks good. But uh, yeah, I think this looks decent. Um, and then obviously you want to input your code into the map code device so people could actually you know access the code. And that's it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.